Hello everybody, it's Amel and I'm gonna show you how to solve the symmetric tree problem using iteration this time. Last time I gave you a solution using recursion but the interviewer might ask you um, if you are dealing with a tree that has 5 billion nodes what problem ca can you have if you use recursion? And the main point is that if you are dealing with a tree that is not a self-balancing tree if you have like a lot of nodes, like 5 billion nodes, then you might get stack overflow uh, because you are using the stack implicitly. The, but if you're dealing with a tree that is a self-balancing tree, like a red black BST or an AVL tree, then the recursive solution is fine. You have to worry about a tree that is not balanced if you're dealing with recursion. So he might ask you, okay, can you do this re it using iteration? Can you do it iteratively? So I'm going to show you how to do this iteratively. So the main idea is that we can use two queues, one queue for the left of tree and one queue for the right of tree. And um, we have to compare the corresponding node in the left with the corresponding node in the right. So we will have to compare these three with these three and these four with these four. So what we can do is that we can we can enqueue the three in the first queue and then the four, and then we can enqueue um, the three in the second queue and then the four. So by using the FIFO order, the first in first out, we can achieve uh, the order that we desire. So we can enqueue in such a way that the corresponding nodes will be dequeued and compare appropriately. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how to write the code. First, if the tree is empty, then return true, because an empty tree is a valid symmetric tree. Q of pointer to node Q1 is a value of new linked list. So this is going to be for the left sub tree and also q of pointer to node q2 is the value of new linked list and this is gonna be to process the right sub tree as I said um, we have to add the left nodes to the q1 so q1 that offer root that left for the left of tree and q2 is going to process the right of tree so q2 that offer root that right then we're going to use iteration we're going to have a while loop so while not q1 that is empty and not q2 that is empty so if we get, if we break out of the while loop, then we return true because that means that we were able to pass all the checks that I'm going to put in this while loop. So eventually we return true if that's the case. So what we want to do is that we're going to dequeue um, the corresponding node from the left queue and also the corresponding node from the right queue, from the second queue. So tree. So I pointed to node n1 gets a value of q1 dot pole to the q. Also pointed to node n2 gets a value of q2 dot pole. So we also have to check the structure. So there has to be a corresponding node uh, for every node. So for every node on the left, there has to be a corresponding node on the right in order to be a mirror. So for example here, there is no 3. So there is no 3 here, so that's why this is not a symmetric tree. Because there has to be a corresponding node. So we have to check if n1 equals equals node and n2 is not equal to node. That means that there's a there's no left of tree, but there is a right of tree. Like in this case, that so there's no left of tree, but there's a right of tree. Then that tells me that they don't have the right structure, so I can return false. Or, 
if n1 is not equal to null and n2 equals equals null. So that tells me that there is a left subtree, but there's no right subtree. In that case, I return false because this is not a symmetric tree. Then if n1 is not equal to null, that means that I have one node for n1 and one node for n2. I have to make sure that the node matches the corresponding node. So compare this one with this one and compare this four with this four. So if n1 that value is not equal to n2 that value, that means that this is not a symmetric tree because the, the values don't match. So I return false. Okay. And now I need to add the values, the children, um, in the correct order. So in Q1, I'm going to add this and then this in FIFO order. So Q1.offer and one that left q1 that offer and one that right so first this and then this and then for q2 i want to add the right first and then the left so i get the right order so q2 that offer and two that right Q2 that offer and to the left. So I'm gonna run the code. Seems to be working perfectly. Alright. So the time complexity of the solution is big O of n, and the space the space complexity is also big O of n, just like the recursive solution. So please like the video, don't forget to subscribe, and see you next time.